We're the innovator. Greetings, everybody. Jeffrey Guterman, and it's the Stratomatic Network here. And we've got a ball game this morning. It's, whoa, Kathy Harden. I'm doing okay this eclipse day. Doing okay. I gotta call my accountant though, Kathy. To resolve something. But uh, we're doing okay. I hope you're okay. It's a eclipse day, total eclipse day. All day, not all day. Well, it is all day, I guess. And uh, And we see greetings. Some nice emojis there from Kathy. And we are in Jerry Park of all places. Yes, we are. And Let's look at our lineups. Kuzman against the Pesky Expos. Indeed. Let's look at our lineups, folks. First of a two-game series. This is September 17 in our 1969 replay, if you will. Game 1780. For the Mets leading off, and it's a little unusual to see Ken Boswell in the cleanup position, but that's what uh, that's what uh, Gil Hodges did. That's what he did. <laughs> Okay, that's what we're going to do then. It's Wayne, Ga uh, Wayne Garrett leading off in, at third. AG in center. Cleon is still out. Shamsky in left. Boswell at second. Clendenin at first. Swoboda in right. Grody catching. Weiss the shortstop. And Kuzman, he's 113. The left-hander starting. He went all the way for a 5 nothing win in real world in this game. For Montreal, Sutherland at second. No! Oh, don't tell me that, Kathy. Lord, my goodness. I'm looking it up right now. My goodness, I missed that. Yes, he died. Oh, and boy, did I love him. You know? You know, Kathy, I'm gonna die. You know that? I'm gonna freaking die. That's what I think when I read this stuff. I'm putting it on X right now. That's a freaking shame. God, thank you for letting me know. Uh, 
I don't know if I went through Montreal. I didn't. Sutherland at second, Staub in right, Bailey in left, LeBoy at third, Herrera in center, Fairley at first, Bateman catching, Wine at short, and Gary Wazlewski. He's won one this year. <sighs> right now, AG is dead. Clendenin is dead. Grody is dead. That's just from the Mets, folks. I believe the others are alive. That's a shame. And in, uh, in memory of Jerry Grody, the Expos take the field. It's Wazlewski on the mound. And leading it off is Wayne Garrett for the New York Mets. Mets come into this one game under 500, 12 games behind. They're basically out of it. Um, Expos are still ahead of the Phillies, quite nicely, I might add, uh, which is a quite a nice surprise, I think. They are a game and a half ahead of the Phillies in fifth place. Trying to hold on to that. This is the first of a two. It's Wazlewski on the mound. He's ready now. Garrett steps in. Okay, here's the windup and the pitch to Garrett. <clears throat> That's going to be 2-9 right-handed and he struck him out one away and here comes ag now oh wasluski on the mound and the pitch to A.G. That's 3-3, right-handed, grounds to short. Wine has it, throws it to Fairley at first, two away. And now Art Shamsky. Shamsky, left-handed hitter. That's 2-8 right-handed. It's a single up the middle for Shamsky. A two-out base hit. Shamsky is on. And here's Ken Boswell, the cleanup hitter. Whoa. It wasn't my idea, folks. He's listed there. That was Gil Hodges who did that. That was some game yesterday, Kathy, isn't it? That basketball game, really. Too bad, though. Boy, they came out quickly, didn't they? And then lost. Here's the pitch to Boswell. That is 6-5 left-handed, fly ball left. And it's Bailey. He makes the catch. The side is out. It's no runs. The single by Shamsky left on. We've gone one half. It's Mets nothing. And the Expo's coming up. And she's really terrific. I'm crazy about her. K-9 
Caitlin. I looked her up. She's six feet tall. She doesn't look as tall, you know, because uh, other people are taller there. But she's six feet. I looked it up. I also looked it up. She's got a boyfriend, apparently. Too bad. Uh, well, here's Coos now, taking his warm-ups and leading it off is Gary Sutherland. Oh, yeah, very class. I mean, you know, it's not easy. You got to remember, she's still very young. All of them are young. You know what I mean? They're college students, uh, and they took it so well. Uh, she's got quite a brand. You know, they're allowed now to advertise. She's a, she's a brand, so, you you know, she, I'm sure she's also mindful, but real class act. <sighs> real Americana there. That other team was amazing, too. Here's Kuzman. And here's the pitch to Sutherland. That's 3-9, left-handed. It's a grounder to second. And Boswell makes the play over to Clinton and one out. And the, 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 bas the play of basketball is just superb. The passing was amazing. She took a couple chuck shots there at the end, three-pointers, you know, in desperation. I saw that. That was 3-9 left-handed. One down. Here's Staub now. Very class. Good role models, you know what I mean? For, for, for the rest of us to learn how to be graceful, accept a loss. Well, here's Kuzman now facing Staub. Kuz the wind up and the pitch to Staub. 5-10, left-handed, grounds to first, scooped by Clinton, and he's gonna throw it to Kuz covering the bag. And that's two away. We're on the bottom of the first, no score. First of a two. Two outs, nobody on bottom of the first, Expos batting Bailey now. Oh yeah, that coach is something else. That coach for South Carolina is a, uh, how could I put this? Uh, quite a personality there. Or, <laughs> that's all I'll say. Bob Bailey now. Here's Coos. That's 3-8 left-handed. Oh boy, it's hit deep by Bailey. Oh, it's gone. Bailey got a hold of one. And he has just hit a solo home run here off Kuzman. He got a hold of that. Let's look at it again. 3-8 left-handed. Home run one to four. It was a three on the freaking pesky 20 die. That pesky 20 die rolling in favor of the pesky Expos. Whoa, shit. Uh, and that's Bob Bailey. He hit some home runs earlier in the year to excite people here. Actually, I think he's a veteran by now. Uh, it is one nothing. Boy, he got a hold. It was a changeup, and he blasted it. Whoa, Christ! Yeah, big Bob Bailey. With home run number 13, he had nine. So he's just doing a little bit better there than he did in real world, but that's home run number 13 entered in real time. And we'll make that a one nothing ball game. Okay, Kuzman will face Coco LeBoy now. All right, Kuzmin, he gets a sign from the late Jerry Grody. We just learned here today from Kathy that Grody passed away. 
He is in baseball heaven, folks. That I can assure you. Here's the pitch to LeBoy. That is 3-3, and I'm sorry if it's a shock. I popped up foul territory. There's Grody. Off with the mask, and he makes the catch. So the side is retired. It was a 3-3 left-handed. One run, though, on the home run by Bob Bailey. We've gone one. It's one nothing Expos. And I hope everything's doing well for all of you. Jerry Grody is gone. What the hell are these people doing with me? You know, I am getting, you know, I, I really have taken your suggestion to uh, heart there, Kathy. I have no interest in anybody who does any kind of sort of horseshit on uh, Twitter, formerly X, formerly Twitter. I block them, especially if they say nasty things, crack bad jokes, uh, whatever it is, I block them. And I, I hide their fucking posts. I'm sorry about my language. Let's go through the second, then I'll take a break. Here's Wazlewski. And Kathy for the Mets. And here's, I really, I don't engage anymore. Here's Don Clendenin. It's a cesspool. Twitter, X formerly Twitter is a cesspool. <clears throat> and that's why I've shifted here, folks, for my social interaction uh, onto YouTube. Um, for almost exclusively Stratomatic. I don't want any more of the, uh, good morning, Puck. Good morning. For the interaction here. Block them. Yeah, block them and hide them. An inappropriate, someone made an inappropriate tweet or something. And then all the porn things, little porn accounts reply to my tweets. Hide and block. Okay, Clendenin steps in. Here's Wazlewski. It's one nothing. Expos on the home run by Bailey. In the top of the second. Here's the pitch to Clendenin. 2-8, fly ball center. And it's Herrera under it. One away. Now Ron Swoboda. I had a weird dream last night, just a mild one. Is somehow like I, I caught a whiff of my milk. The, I have a, a, a gallon. I usually get a quart. You know, that's just for my coffee. And it, it was smelled bad, even though it's good till April 17. So I got up this morning, I took a whiff, it's fine. It's just a weird dream. Here's the pitch to Swoboda now. So that's gonna be a 412 right-handed. Rounds to first X, our first X of the ball game. That's uh, fairly 217. Trying to get to that. 217, 14, 2, it's a G1. E17. 6, 8, 11. 6, 9, 11, E17. Oh, and he boots it. Oh, my. Again, fairly an E17. And that's an 11. And that will be an E1, a G1 E1. That will be an error by fairly to put Swoboda on. And here's the late Jerry Grody. The late, great Jerry Grody in baseball heaven now. Just learned that this morning, folks. Very sad. Okay, Wazlewski on the mound from the stretch with Swoboda on first one down. The pitch to Jerry. There it is. It's 3-6 right-handed. 
And it's a base hit to left for Jerry. So about a rounding, one to 12, one to 13, he'll hold. That would have been a one to 14 without the infield in or without anyone being held. I don't let him sit there. Here's Al Weiss now. It's a little borderline for me, a stretch Swoboda on a 1 to 14 to third, 1 to 12, 1 to 13, uh, 1 to 14, just a little bit out of the range. Here's Al Weiss. Even though Weiss could get a sacrifice if he did get the third, a sacrifice fly. Here's the pitch from Wazlewski. Maybe warranting the risk. 5-7 right-handed struck him out. And here's Kuz now. Pitch to Kuz, and he grounds it to short. And Wine has it. Throws to Fairley, and the side is retired. So the Mets leave two on. The error, the base hit, no runs. We're in the middle of the second. It's one nothing Expos on the home run by Bob Bailey. And here's Coos now. Jose Herrera, Fairley, and Bateman to Bat here in the bottom of the second. Here's Kuz, and the pitch to Herrera. That's gonna be a six, six right-handed. Oh, there's a drive hit out into the gap for Herrera. It's gonna drop, and he's gonna go roll into second with a leadoff double. A leadoff double there, six, six right-handed. Off Kuzman. And here's Ron Fairley now. Here's Kuz and the pitch. That's 2 8 left handed, and it's a base hit by Fairley. Herrera goes to third and holds, so two straight hits off Kuz here in the second. For Bateman, infield back. Opting for the double play, they would concede a run. Okay, Kuzman. The pitch to Bateman. That's going to be three, six left-handed. That's exactly what happens. It's hit to Garrett at third. To Boswell, to Clendenin for the double play. Herrera comes home on that. <clears throat> That's always a, you wonder about that. But it's 2 nothing now. Two outs, nobody on. And here's Wine if that's a good call. But that's what they did. Just to let you know, on the ground, uh, ground ball A, if it was on first and third, it would have been uh, a double play. Actually, it was, yeah, it is a double play, yeah. I'm so sorry. If it was infield in, first and third, on an eight, uh, the runner on third would have been, would have held. The only one out. Here's Wine, two outs, nobody on. And the pitch from Kuzman. 6-6 six, six right-handed, whoa. That is a double down the line. Kuzman getting hit here in the early going of this ball game. And uh, it's a two-out single by Wine. 
off Kuzman. He, Kuzman, you allowed the home run in the first to Bailey. Now, two doubles and a single this inning. It's 2 nothing. Wine on second, two down. And here's Wazlewski, the pitcher. All right, Puck. Listening at work. Here's Kuzman now. And the pitch, 2-10, he walked him, we know that. On the on the one card, pitch is hitting. That's the only non-out. Kuzman not feeling it today. That's two down now, first and second, and here's Sutherland. It's getting serious here. Fortunately, it's only two nothing. If he can retire Sutherland, Kuzman, Gets the sign from Grody, a sign from baseball heaven. And the pitch. That's going to be 3-8 left-handed, chops it to second. No one being, uh, infield is not in. That's... Boswell picks it up at second, throws to Clendenin, and the side is out. So we could say that Coos is lucky. He only got away with only one run there. We've gone two. It is a two-nothing ball game. And Take a little break here, just for about three minutes, folks. Gonna stretch. Pesky Expo's doing their thing, indeed. Oh, yeah. Oh, they're being pesky. I wouldn't expect anything else from them. Oh. Right back, folks. some coffee here and we'll get things going.
top of the third. It's two nothing Peskies. And Wazuski comes out for the Peskies. He will face the top of the order. Wayne Garrett, 0 for 1, struck out in the first. Okay, here's Wazlewski now. The wind up, the pitch to Garrett. That's three six right handed, pops it up to Fairley. And he makes the catch, one out. And now Tommy Agee. Cleon out today. He's been out for a few games here. They miss his bat, I'll tell you that. Here's A.G. now. The pitch from Wazlewski. And that's, ooh, look at that, 6-12. Right-handed, and that is a liner to short, caught by Wine. Two outs for Archamski, left-handed hitter. It's Pesky's two, Mets nothing. Here is Jerry Park. <coughs> and the pitch to Shamsky. That is 4-9 left-handed. He walked him. Shamsky is on. Boswell comes to the plate. As well a W, but he can hit one on his own card. It's 110 right-handed. He taps it back to Wazlewski, who throws to Fairley, and the side is retired. No runs, no hits. The walk to Shamsky left on. We're in the middle of the third. It's Pesky's two. Mets nothing. Okay, Coos has had some trouble here in the first two innings. The home run to Bailey in the first, and then he allowed the run. Two doubles and a base hit. And we got a question top of the fifth from... Kathy, top of the fifth question. Oh, Lord. Okay, leading it off will be stop. He granted to first in the first. Here's Kuzman now. And the pitch, 1-6 left-handed. It's hit to right, hit deep. <coughs> Going back is Swoboda, and at the warning track, he makes the catch, one out. It was triple one. And here's Bailey now. He gets a hand from the crowd. Hitting that home run. Kuzman and the pitch to Bailey. That's going to be 2 8. Left handed, fly ball left. And Shamsky is under it. Two away. <coughs> Excuse me. And now Coco LeBoy comes up with two outs, nobody on. Pesky's batting, bottom of the third. We're only going to get about 50% view here in Fort Lauderdale. Looks like you're fairly close to the path, Kathy. You're not right in it, but a coffee, 
Oh, yeah. Oh, indeed. Indeed, Demos. I hope everything's going with, well with you on this Monday. Here's Coos now, the pitch to LaBoy. And that's going to be 1 5 left handed. It's a, a base hit by Coco. A two out single. Not being held. It is very good coffee. Oh, yeah. It was a 1 5 left handed. So Coco on first two down. Here's Jose Herrera. And the pitch from Koo. That's going to be 3-9 left-handed, fly ball left. Getting under that is Shamsky. And he makes the catch, the side is out. So Kuzman, no runs. He allowed the single to Coco. We've gone three, it's 2 nothing. Peskies. Over the Mets. Looking at real world baseball. Pirates 3-2 over the Orioles. Washington 3-2 over Philly. The Braves beat Arizona 5-2. Yankees with the win, 8-3 over Toronto. Mets won it, 3-1 over the Reds. It was Oakland 7, Detroit 1. Kansas City 5, White Sox 3. The Brewers trounced the Mariners 12-4. Uh, Marlins 10-3 over the Cards, and the Cubs beat the Dodgers 8-1. They lost, the Do actually lost the Dodgers. Tampa Bay 3, Colorado 2. Giants clipped the Padres 3-2. It was Red Sox 12, Angels 2. A lot of games, you know, a lot of teams these days. Uh, Astros 3-1 over the Rangers. And Cleveland and Minnesota was postponed. Marlins open up against the Yankees today at Yankee Stadium. That'll be on my TV. Bally, South Florida. And that would be a 6.05 start. That's worth watching. That's worth freaking watching. Today, the 50th anniversary of Aaron's home run is 715th. We're heading to the top of the fourth. It's Wazlewski now. And he'll face Clendenin to lead it off. The Montreal Peskies have a 2 nothing lead here. Okay, here's Wazlewski now. The wind up and the pitch to Clendenin. That's one four, and he chops it to second for Sutherland, one away. Now here's Ron Swoboda. Three twelve against the right-hander. He hit him. Swoboda hit by the pitch. He'll take first. And here's Grody, the late Jerry Grody, folks. We're sorry to let you know this. Grody steps in the batter's box. Eighty-one years old. He died of respiratory failure following a heart procedure. My goodness.
a native of San Antonio, Texas. I believe he started with the Houston, I don't know if it was the Colts, Colt 45s or the Astros, but here's Grody now. He's singled in the second left on. It's Swoboda on first one down. The pitch from Wazlewski. That's going to be 5-9. Right-handed struck him out. So Grody goes down <coughs> swinging. <coughs> Two outs here with Swoboda on first. Here's Al Weiss. Oh. Oh, Willoughby was awesome. Demos had a game of the week, 1973, the Giants and Willoughby, I forgot his first name. Shut out the big red machine. Oh, Willoughby is awesome. You know, his wife, as much as I have contempt for her, the character, she was so cruel. This was a man who was struggling under severe stress at work. All his wife cared about was him succeeding at work, and this guy is, is flipping out stressed out and so so with and and he shares his dream and she mocks him uh, and uh, Weiss coming up here I felt terrible he was a great they were all great in that you know he was good good and great in that uh, but Okay, here's Weiss now. Facing Wazlewski, it's Swoboda on first two down. Here's the pitch to Weiss. That's going to be 3-10, right-handed, and that is a liner to second caught by Sutherland. And the side is retired. No runs, no hits. The hit by pitch, left on base. We're in the middle of the fourth. It's 2-0. Montreal over the New York Mets. And here's Kuzman now. Ron Fairley to lead it off. Oh, yeah. Oh, indeed. I have... You know, there's another one, I forgot the name of it, but it was with Gig Young where he goes back to the town when he was a little boy, meets himself, his parents. Forgot the name of that, that one. He was a great actor, Gig Young. Unfortunately, he, oh, hit the end of his life was just tragic. It was a murder-suicide with his wife who was like, I don't know, 30 some odd years younger than him. They had just married and my question is, why was there a gun even present? He shot her and then he shot himself. That's real world, folks. Uh, that's not in any fantasy replay or anything like that. <laughs> Here's Fairley now facing Kuzman. And the pitch, 5'11". Left-handed, fly ball right X. Haven't had too many X's today. Thank goodness. Swoboda getting under that 3-4. 
He gets two at F2. Swoboda E4, four, six, seven, and he makes the catch. That'll be one down. And here's John Bateman getting a re relatively rare start behind the plate. Actually, he had 235 at bats. Maybe I'm just not used to him starting. Here's Bateman now. Grounded into the double. And that scored a run, a second run in the third. Pitch from Kuzman. That's 5-3 right-handed. That's a slash. It's a ballpark slash. Get a chance to look at the Montreal 7 on a right-hander. And that's going to... Oh, that's going to be caught by Weiss. Had a nice catch on the 7. The home runs will fly out to left field. 1-19, to 1-9 to nine with left-handers. Two down now. And here comes Bobby Wine. And good morning, Stack. Okay, here's Coos. Funny thing, you know, you can think about going to Willoughby. Uh, sort of a turn of the century, turn of the 20th century type town. And we think, you know, we think in the, 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 the rigors and stresses of modern day life. Uh, uh, here's the pitch to wine. Uh, three, seven left-handed grounds to short Weiss. Two cleans and the side is out. One, two, three for Kuzman that time. Three, seven left-handed. And it's 2 nothing Peskies over the Mets after four. But I think maybe if, if I think about it, you know, everything seems to be the good old days. I guess maybe Nazi Germany, maybe those weren't the good old days. Uh, I don't know. You know, uh, well, when the United States pulled together during the war, Maybe those were the good old days. Even some people say the Depression. But no, I, I tend to think maybe, you know, uh, life, my grandfather used to always say, life was harder. You know, referring to when he was young. <clears throat> and, uh, you know, you just don't know. Uh, but at least it's, a, it's sort of an ideal we have. It's a romanticized notion maybe that we have and we can go back to a town like Willoughby uh, then of course you wonder you know was life better than well it maybe if you were white okay <laughs> uh, and uh, if you were a man you know what I mean you know I mean uh, uh, that's, you know, on basis on today's standards, we, we might not think things were better. Oh, we have a question here at top of the fifth. Where is Willoughby? That's an awfully good question. Um, Willoughby is a, in the imagination. It is a place of that, that many of us covet or aspire to uh, go to in our minds. In fact, I have a fantasy of going back into 1969 uh, through this replay and not come back. Kathy Harden with a question here, top of the fifth. It's two nothing peskies over the Stacking Lemon, it's an imaginary town in a man's head from an episode of The Twilight Zone. I don't want to, I don't want to string you along. There are two so-called insult Paul songs, one by George, one by John, in backlash to Paul's lawsuit 
over to solving the Beatles. Either one is fine, both are even better. <sighs> I believe How Do You Sleep by Lennon. And then I'm not sure about if this one was for uh, Paul, but the Sue Me, Sue You Blues. Of course, he got into trouble with his song, My Sweet Lord. The uh, composers of He's So Fine sued him and they settled. I got both of them, yeah. <clears throat> Maybe it was about both, you know what I mean? Lawsuits are not fun, great song. Uh, great, great, uh, how do you sleep? I do think there was a great line from, that, a couple great lines from How Do You Sleep? It's by John Lennon, folks. Those freaks was right when they said you was dead. I don't remember the next line. The other line I really like is, the only thing you done was yesterday. And since you're gone, you're just uh, another day, which I love that. I mean, he, he wrote a song called Another Day. <coughs> How do you sleep at night? And the Sumi Sue You Blues. Thank you, Kathy Harden. That was a nice little double there. Willoughby, uh... Stack. That's what Willoughby is. Yesterday, it's true. It's true. It's absolutely true. And talk about fantasies, I'm gonna tell you. It's the Montreal Peskies, two. And the New York Mets, nothing. We've gone four. Uh, great question from Kathy. Uh, which turn of the 20th century? Well, that's a good, I don't know the exact time uh, stack. Yeah, I think it was, you know, like the gay 90s, the, the, the uh, you know, but you're right. It was uh, a turn. Can I say uh? I should know better. I will be back in about three minutes, taking my break. Get some coffee here. I am really messed up in the freaking head tonight. There's a lot of coffee left. Yeah, I'd say it was the turn of the 19th, uh, 20th century, from the 1900, uh, from the, I'm sorry, 19th century. It was actually, you know, it's probably around 1890s. You know what I mean? The gay 90s, you know? Um, 
Okay, here's Wazlewski. Kuzman will lead it off. He seems to have settled down. Oh, that is good coffee. Oh. Okay, here's Coos to lead it off. Wazlewski. Oh, yeah, when you, your demos, check out the his wife. She is one nasty, nasty, nasty person. Here's Wazlewski on the pitch. <coughs> Five seven right-handed struck him out. That's the fourth for Gary. And here's Wayne Garrett 0 for two. And that's certainly Jonesen without their left fielder. They're Jonesen for Cleon. Push, push, push. Here's Wazlewski. And the pitch to Garrett. 2-8 right-handed, pops it up to first. There's fairly, gets under it fairly quickly. And it's two outs, yeah. Absolutely. And he had the beautiful dream about Willoughby and one day he decided he was gonna get off that train and go there. <laughs> it's a great episode. Two down now. Here's AG. And the pitch from Wasluski. That's a 6-6 right-handed. Struck him out. And Gary, very pesky there with his fifth strikeout. And we're heading to the bottom of the fifth. It's still two nothing, uh, Montreal Peskies. And here's Coos. And it will be Wazlewski leading it off. He'll throw his first endurance inning next inning. Push, push, push. <laughs> He couldn't take it anymore. You ever feel under pressure like that? A lot of times the pressure we impose on ourselves or make exacerbate, but a lot of times life can be stressful on anybody. Uh, okay, here's Kuz, he's ready. The pitch to Wazlewski. He got off the train. I don't know, yeah, you could be, until he finally did get off. He was thinking about it, yeah. That's 2-6, he struck him out. That's the first strikeout for Kuz today. I think he did think about getting off there and they found him dead. Now here's Sutherland, 0 for 2. One out, nobody on. In a way, this is like, uh, you know, it was still the, it's a terribly stressful world in 69, but I was 11 and a half, give or take, 11 to 12. Okay, here's Coos now, the, the pitch too subtle. And, you know, 6'8", uh, right-handed fly ball center. And under that is AG for the second out, you know, it's not like, I don't think it's really like we th sometimes think it was. Push, 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 right. <laughs> uh, and add one. Do the arm, the, the outfielder's arm, add one. If not being held. And, of course, 
If it's to third base, make adjustments as needed from right or left. And push, push, push. Two outs, nobody on stop at the plate. Kuzman now. Having settled down, it's 2 nothing. Expos. And the pitch from Kuz. And it's a 4-8 left-handed struck him out. A 1-2-3 again for Kuz, and he's retired 7 now. In order. We've gone 5. And it's a two-nothing game. Montreal is right in the line of uh, Dallas, Austin, Little Rock, Indianapolis, Buffalo, Cleveland, Dayton, Syracuse, Buffalo, Montreal. All in the line, direct line of that. Well, here's Gary Wazlewski. Top of the sixth. And it will be Shams uh, Shamsky leading it off here. Mets down to nothing. Wazlewski is ready. This is his first endurance inning. Shamsky singled and walked. 4 9. Left handed, he walked him again. So Shamsky on first. Not going anywhere. And here's Boswell, not being held either. Very unusual, folks. Don't at me on this. I follow exact lineups, and Gil Hodge has put Boswell in the cleanup position. Okay. 0 for 2 today. Shamsky on first. Wazlewski from the stretch. Here's the pitch. That's a 6 7 left handed. Grounds to first. And that will be a force. Fairly will throw it to Sutherland at second to get Shamsky. It's one out now. Boswell on first. He's pretty good with a lead. Uh, low chance, he's a 1 to 18, 1 to 16. Pretty good if he gets the lead, my. Going for it, doesn't get it. Being held though. Boswell on first one down, here's Clendenin now. He could tie this ball game up with one swing. Here's Wazlewski now. And the pitch to Klinzenin. That's going to be 5-4 right-handed. Grounds to third. Could be two. Coco, 427, though. Bill Ivamy. Right on the path. Coco 427. That's a G3. Oh, look what I did. That's a G3. <sighs> Pound. He's not be uh, he is he is being held. Oh my. That might be a single. He is being held. That's going to be a freaking single. If the uh, responsible for holding that was hit to f third with a runner on first and a right-handed batter, no. Runner being held on first. right-handed batter first and second only so it's going to be a g3 e27 three four five rare play though g3 rare play with a runner on first one out 
He lines his shot, hits the mound and deflects, who makes the play to first for the out, and the runner will advance. <laughs> We're just gonna call that a ground out. We don't worry about that reflection, deflection. It's Boswell on second now, though. With two down, clutch situation here for Swoboda. Here's Wasluski. That's going to be 2-7 right-handed. Grounds to second. No one being held on, on a new base. Sutherland has it, throws it over to Fairley. And those pesky Expos get out of it again with Wasluski. No runs, no hits. The walk, one left. We're in the middle of the sixth. And it's still 2 nothing. Here's Kuzman now. It will be Bailey, Coco, and Herrera. Okay, Bailey, one for two today. Uh, Bailey, one for two with a home run. It's the game winner thus far. Here's Coos and the pitch. Two seven left-handed, grounds it to short Weiss, throws to Clendenin, one out. And here's Coco. We'll take a little break for about three minutes after this inning. Coco, one for two, single left on in the third. Here's Kuzman. That's going to be 3-7 left-handed. Fly ball left field. And Shamsky under it for the second out. And it's Jose Herrera. Kuzman's first endurance is the ninth. Pitch from Coos. That's 2 9. Left handed, chops it to second. And Boswell takes it on one hop. And that's a 1 2 3 for Coos, and he's retired 10 in order. And we have Philip Reynolds here. Greetings to Philip. We have gone six, Phil. It's the Montreal Peskies, two. New York Mets nothing. I'm Jeffrey Guterman on this eclipse day. It was the base uh, football yeah. You know, Bill, I was never confronted face to face on that uh, at the tournament. I think, uh, you know, maybe, maybe I, Oh, you take care, Phil. Uh, I remember there were rumblings. Uh, Bill, there were rumblings at the uh, convention. There were accusations. I don't remember the exact nature of them or I think someone may have said so. I don't remember if it was said to me directly. The next year, I went to the third convention, and these were the golden years, folks, of Stratomatic, uh, in my view. Uh, and it was in Cam uh, Champaign-Urbana, Illinois. Uh, 
and I took a plane, I took a flight with J.G. Preston, and uh, I played in advanced in the tournament, and that, of course, no cheating in that one. And every time I played against J.G. Preston, you know, he wanted to see my card. I beat him in a game. I did not win it. Uh, but when, when we were greeted at the airport by, I don't remember his name, I think, okay, Brad something. He was from Oklahoma. He was from Lawton, Oklahoma. He said to me, and again, this is the summer of 74, he goes, and I'm paraphrasing, you know the accusations have been made, and you know that in this world, if they can't prove something, you can, you're innocent until, you know, you've proven guilty. And he was invoking Nixon. Okay. Uh, it's not one of my best moments. Now, I do have one I'm going to do later about the Tom Burleson hoax. And... Uh, with the Stratomatic Review, I just need to, and I'll set that up for a premiere later. He, he, he put up fingers. I think it was one for a run, two for a pass, one for a run. He would just put it like on his, he would be sitting back there and he would do something like, uh, you know, he, 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 would, he would do something like this. Okay. You know what I mean? <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> yeah, and again, folks, it was not one of my best moments, but it's part of the past. It's part of the freaking past. And, uh, game. Uh, I thought it might, uh, I thought some people might find it interesting. Uh, I'm not gonna, I, I, I'm so sorry, people. I'm so twisted. So freaking twisted. Let me take my break. We'll get back to this ball game. I think people get a kick out of the, uh... oh yeah, I'd have my, uh... <laughs> well, you have to switch you know, you in the tournament, you had to switch teams at halftime, Bill. Yeah, you're right, Stack. Basically, the reception has been pretty good from people, not taking it too seriously. Of course, at the time, it was not fair to people playing in the tournament. Uh, oh, God almighty, I've got to call my accountant today. That you would switch teams at halftime. I'll be back in just a few minutes, folks.
Yeah. Okay, Wazlewski in his second endurance inning. It's 2 nothing Expos. And it's Grody leading it off. Grody, Weiss, and Kuzman do up here. Top of the seventh. Here's Wazlewski now. The pitch to Grody. That's six nine right-handed grounds to short X. Not too many X's today. Giving me a break. That's wine three forty four. Oh, that's a reroll. That was not flat. Three forty four thirteen three. It's a G2, E44 though, 5, 8, 12. And he throws him out, nice play by Wine. And here's Weiss, my thinking is we'll let Kuz hit with two outs, maybe even with a runner on, we'll see. I apologize to Steve Barkin on Facebook, and he, he said, oh, that was a long time ago. We were very young then, he said. Here's Wazlewski, the pitch to Weiss. Five-nine right-handed struck him out. I'll tell you, Wazlewski looking stronger than ever. Second time he got Weiss on strikes. And here's Kuz coming up. with two outs. Pitch to Kuz. Five, eight. Right-handed, grounds to second X. Sutherland, 326. I'm gonna make the next one really good. That's another re-roll. 326, one three, that's going through for Kuzman. An S2 single. E26, five, seven, eight. And Kuzman with a two out single. And Garrett coming up. Oh. Okay, here's Wazlewski now. The pitch to Wayne. That's going to be 6 7 left handed. Grounder to first. He's got full endurance, uh, fairly, throws to Wazlewski Woz covering the bag and the side is retired. It was a 6-7 uh, six, no, six, left-handed. No runs for the Mets, the single by Kuz, only the third hit off Wazlewski. My goodness. Seventh inning stretch, middle of the seventh. Here's Kuz now. Fairly will lead it off. It'll be Fairly, Bateman, and Wine. Quite a performance here by Gary Wazlewski. The next one is really going to be special, folks. I'm going to do it. I'm going to set it up as a premiere for 2 p.m., actually, maybe in lieu of a ball game. If things go okay with me, I might play a, 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 a late afternoon twilight game at about 5.30 or 6 Eastern. But I'm going to set up a 2 p.m., premiere once I get things all settled here uh,
about the Tom Burleson hoax. And I think if you like the one on the convention, the, the scandal, the cheating scandal, you're going to love the Burleson hoax. That takes a little research. I got to pull out the review and find. I can't find it yet. I know it's one of those issues. Here's Fairley facing Kuzman, bottom of the seventh. Revealing skeletons, stratomatic skeletons in the co in the yes. You're gonna love this one, Bill. If you don't know about it, you're gonna love it. Uh, here's Fairley now. Uh, six eight. <laughs> <laughs> Left-handed fly ball right, Swoboda's is under that. One out. And that's 11 in order by Coos. <laughs> Six, eight left-handed. Here's Bateman now. I was a huge NC State fan with uh, Burleson. Uh, who was the forward? I think he was the forward... Uh, and he turned out to be a great player. And then they had that, that real short guard. It's like 5'8 or something. Maybe shorter. Oh, it'll be during the eclipse. You want me to set it at a different time, Bill? If you want to see the... Uh uh, you know, the only thing is I got a plan. You'll be able to watch it on demand. Maybe the eclipse would not be a good time to do it. You're right. You have a good point. Maybe I'll set it up for this evening. You know, I'll record it this afternoon. I'll set it up this evening. I'm hoping to make it more than just three minutes. I uh, this, this will take a little longer. Here's Kuzman now. And the pitch to Bateman. That's going to be 6-7. Right-handed, you're going to love it. Ground ball second, X again. Uh, not again for this inning, but 6-7 this bottom of the inning. Uh, there's Boswell, 334. Boswell, 7-3. It's a G3. E34, Boswell, 5678. And some people, he throws him out. Some people may be put off by this stuff, the, the cheating scandal and the forthcoming Burleson hoax, because it, it, it invokes, it's about dishonesty. And I find dishonesty distressing. Again, this was something I did as a kid. <coughs> and, uh, you know, I'd be glad to, I don't know if I'd be glad to, but I don't know what kind of restitution I could make for it. It's my way of uh, excreting guilt. Oh God, I gotta use the bathroom again. Shit. Here's wine. The pitch from Coos. Uh, six, five, right-handed, grounds to short X. I definitely need to use the bathroom. It's Weiss 221. Oh, Lord, I got to go. Shit. Hold it in. Shit. <laughs> That's going to go through. <laughs> Weiss of 31. 6911. Oh, my. Uh, and he's gonna it's gonna go through for a base hit uh we're gonna i am gonna use the lavatory right now i gotta go it's two outs wazlewski coming up you know when you gotta go you gotta go oh <laughs> it's it's very real here folks this is Oh, God. Oh,
We don't have much coffee left, folks. Here's Wazlewski, two outs. It's wine on first. And the pitch from Coos. 5-10, right-handed. Flies to right, under it is Swoboda. He makes the catch. Side is retired. That was the first hit off Coos, first base runner since the, th the second inning. It's two nothing Montreal Peskies. And Wazlewski has been really something with full, f full endurance here. And here's A.G. It'll be A.G., Shamsky, and Boswell. Here in the top of the eighth at Jerry Park. Okay, Wazlewski, the wind up, the pitch to A.G. That's going to be 6-3 right-handed, fly ball left X. Getting under that Bailey now, 425. Take advantage, maybe some of these fielders here. See if he can get to this. 425, that's gonna be a 5-4 S2 base hit. E25, 612, 16. Oh, and he boots it, oh my. It was a 5-4, uh, he should have been replaced. Okay, I'm just too busy right here. 612-16, E25 on Bailey. It's going to be an S2, E1. And a single and an error with AG on, in scoring position here. First, uh, second error for Montreal of this ball game. I mean, they got a lot of fours out there. I could have brought, Mac Jones is not available. Ty Klein's available. But, you know, I, I did not think of it. Here's Shamsky now. Now on the five, it would have been, uh, you can second guess it. Only a two would have gotten to that ball. Uh, and Ty Klein is a two. Here's Shamsky now. He is the tying run at the plate. Here's Wazlewski. And the pitch. That's gonna be 6-10 left-handed. Grounds to short, wine. 344. Oh my, it's a 2-3. That's going through. That's going to score a run. It's an S2 base hit on a 2-3. 6-10-13. Wine of 44. Six ten thirteen forty four, 44. And he boots that. That's going to be another single and an error. An S2E1. Scoring, AG. And, you know, you wonder, we don't know yet if that's unearned. Uh, <laughs> and Wazlewski suddenly won out away from fatigue. Whoa, here's Boswell now. I'm done with coffee now. <sighs> I am whacked out in the head too. Some Bearer, Raymond, and Morton pitched in this in real world. Uh, it's some Bearer, the right-hander, warming. Here's Boswell now, Shamsky on second. Now they're playing like the Expos. They're 
Mets have depescified them here with a couple of base hits and errors. Here's the pitch to Boswell. They're thinking of laying it down, but no 6-12 left-handed walked him. And here comes Gene Mock. And that's it for Wazlewski. He comes out the winner of record. He pitched seven innings, but two, five hits. Pitched very good baseball until this inning. He ended up walking three, hitting one, uh, striking out six, allowing one thus far. We don't know if it's earned or not. And it will be Carol Sembera. Carol Sembera coming in. It's a two to one ball game. Oops, and a great opportunity for the Mets. First and second, nobody out. And here's Clendenin now. Okay, Simbera from the stretch. Here's the pitch to uh, Clendenin. That's a 6-3 right-handed, and that's a ballpark slash. It looks like it's going to go through right-handed. And it does, and that's going to load them up now. Tough call here, but they'll have the infield play it back. Here's Swoboda now. Whoa. The tying run on third, the go-ahead in scoring at second. Clendenin on first, triple play opportunity. And an Ivamy is also in the realm of possibilities. Here's Simbera now. The pitch to Swoboda. That's going to be 1 6, and he struck him out. Oh, and that was a big strikeout. Ron swinging. Goodnight Gracie has given a very interesting uh, response here to my cheating scandal video. And I thought I would just take a moment to read that. Goodnight Gracie, right here. I know you can't read that, but it says, if there's one thing I've learned over the years, it's that we have to be ready to give ourselves grace, particularly for wrongs and indiscretions committed in youth when our ethical sense wasn't fully developed. I have a few of these kinds of things under my belt as well, things I did way back when that I never supposed I would still be losing sleep over all these years later. I generally do believe that the fact that you have these regrets 50 years after the fact says something for your strength of character. Many people <laughs> wouldn't have thought twice about it, much less brooded over it for decades. I hope making this video has helped you to relieve some of those regrets and to forgive yourself, which I very much, much hope you will do. Thank you for sharing this. That's a quite a thoughtful and well-written reply. That's very well, well written, too. Okay, here's Grody now, the late Jerry Grody. Bases are full with one out. The infield is back. Lord, Simbera trying to get the peskies out of this. Here's Simbera now. And the pitch to Grody. That's 3-9, right-handed. Oh, my, he blasts it into the gap, Jerry. Oh, isn't that beautiful, you know? Uh, after he has died, we've just learned this, folks. 
Shamsky scores, Boswell scores, Clendenin rounding third, a big one-out double by Jerry Grody. Look at it again, 3-9 right-handed. It's a double to center. That's for uh, Herrera, a zero. Clendenin rounding. One to 14, only one out, it's a zero. Uh, no one being held, he's a one to 15. He's fricking coming home. And here's the throw from Herrera, and he is safe. A three-run double by Ke uh, Jerry Grody, and isn't that uh, isn't that poetic license, folks? Let's look at this again. Uh, well, we did the three, okay? Uh, it was a three-nine off Simbera on the right-handed double, and isn't that poetic freaking license, folks? Yes, Swazlewski. The loser now, he ends up allowing three, and Sambera has allowed one himself, and everything is earned, as far as I'm concerned. A huge double by Jerry Grody, the late Jerry Grody, for a masterful depescification of Montreal here with still only one out. And here comes Al Weiss, they'll keep Sambera in there. It's now a four to two ball game. Wow. With Kuzman, with full endurance. Yes, Wazlewski is the loser of record. Here's the pitch now to Weiss. Weiss 0 for three, one seven, right-handed, grounds it back. Whoa, that's a B with a runner on third. I'm taking that for granted. One seven, right-handed with a runner on third. It's a five. If hit to the, uh, that's a one seven, hit to the pitcher. Otherwise batter out, runners hold, okay? So it's hit to Simbera who throws him out two away. And here comes Kuzman now. Whoa, what a game for those of you who have suffered through this ball game uh, and your Met fans, I'm really glad. If you're Expo fans, I'm really sorry. Here's Coos now, two outs, Grody on third. And how fitting could that be? Six, seven, right-handed walked him. Oh my, oh my, that's first and third. They'll try him again, let him let him give it a try here with Garrett. We could pull him if he doesn't retire Garrett. Here's Simbera now. The pitch to Wayne. That's a 6-5 left-handed. There's a drive hit out. That's going to be it for Simbera. It's dropping for a double. Oh, my. <laughs> Grody scores. <laughs> Coos to third. I don't think I want to even have Coos have to slide or anything like that. 6-5 left hand to double to right with two outs. Let's take a look here. Stop minus four. We'll have Kuzman hold. Kathy, I do not want to even mess with it. Uh, and that's going to be it for, it's kind of hard to see here, but that's going to be it for Simbera. Uh, who got knocked to pieces here in, in uh, two-thirds innings. Uh, Lord, one, two, three hits, including two, dub uh, two doubles. He has allowed two runs. It is now, that's one, two, three, four, five to two. That's it for Simbera. And let's see who's coming in. You want to talk about depescification. Please. It's going to be Raymond. <laughs> Here's Claude now coming in. Third pitcher of the inning. We didn't bother to check the hold ratings, but he would on uh, Simbera, but uh, he's be a plus three, Raymond. 
doesn't matter. Uh, here's Raymond now. <laughs> Raymond, yeah, I was thinking that, Bill. It sounds, you know, Claude sounds uh, Raymond. Claude, Claude Raymond. I'm not a French speaker, but the Mets have batted around. Here's AG now. Big double by Wayne. Here's AG now. Two outs. Claude trying to finish this up. And the pitch to AG. That's going to be 4-6 right-handed. Lines it to second. Caught by Sutherland. And the side is finally retired. But the Mets explode for five runs here. In the top of the eighth. And... Wow, what a ball game. We're heading to the bottom of the eighth. It's Kuzman, the winner of record now. Simbera ends up allowing two himself. And it's going to be the top of the order, Sutherland. It's the... Was he an announcer? I didn't know that. Sutherland, Staub, and Bailey. It's 5-2. Expos down by three. Here's Coos. That's going to be 2-8 left-handed. Grounds to third for Garrett, one away. And if the Mets can hold on, they'll be back to 500 baseball. They're 73 and 74. Here's Staub now. Staub 0 for 3. This is lefty, lefty, Kuzman. Six, seven, left-handed. Grounds to second X for Boswell. He's a 334. He's still with us. Good for him. 334. Uh, 17 3, it's a G1. Kenny Boswell on the E34, 6 11 16. And he throws him out. Two down now. This is where you might bring in, you know, Rod Gaspar to play the outfield. We won't with a three-run lead, and we will, especially since we didn't take out uh, Bailey. But now they need Bailey. Here is Bailey. Two outs, nobody on Kuzman. That's going to be 6-6 six, six right-handed. Oh, there's a shot into the gap for Bailey. And it's a double, a two-out double. He's two for four now with the home run in the first. That was 6 6 right handed. And here's Coco LeBoy. Exposed down by three here, bottom of the eighth. Coos from the stretch. Pitch to Coco, 3 4 left handed. Ballpark slash. That may not go through. We'll have to see. Coco right handed. And no, it does not. That's caught by Weiss. And the side is retired. No runs, the double by Bailey with two outs. Left on, we're heading to the ninth. What a game it's been. And here's Claude Raymond. We'll, we'll... It does, it's too late now to do any of those changes as far as I'm concerned. It'll be Shamsky, Boswell, and Clinton. If you're looking ahead to the bottom of the ninth, it will be Herrera, Fairley, and Bateman with the Expos down by three. Here's Raymond now. And it's 3-7 right-handed, struck him out. Now Kenny Boswell, quite a comeback here for the Mets. And Jerry Grody. I think Grody, he knocked in three. So he did knock in the winning run. I'm pretty sure. Oh. 
That's going to be a one. Oh, that's a reroll. Lord. That's two nine right handed. Grounds to first. And fairly takes it. Two outs for Clendenin. Nice to see the Mets with a comeback win here for a change. That'll be 6-6 six, six right-handed. Fly ball center field for Herrera, and the side is retired. We're heading to the bottom of the ninth. It's been Kuzman. He's allowed two runs in eight innings on six hits. He's walked one, struck out one, two. And here we go, Jose Herrera to lead it off. Again, Expos down by three here, bottom of the ninth. Kuzman now. That's 311 left handed. That's a ballpark slash for Herrera. That may, no, that's not going to go through. He's right handed. Uh, on a 311 left handed, that's a ballpark slash on the right hander. And he, it's lined to Weiss, one out. Here's Ron Fairley now. Kuzman winds and deals. This is lefty lefty, five seven left handed, fly ball center. It's very high and very playable by AG, two away and the batter is John Bateman. He's a 209 hitter. You know, I'm, I imagine they would have had him hit in real world. You know, I really don't want to. <laughs> I really am not in the mood for any bullshit here. Uh, but. It just doesn't seem right. Uh, Remy Hermoso pinch hit in this game. He is a, but he is a, um, we'll go with Brand, you know, just for the hell of it. Hermoso hit 18162, but we'll go with Ron Brand. I hope he's a right handed. Yeah. We'll go with Brand. If by chance there's a miracle. They will certainly have him catch. He's been catching lately. Brand coming in, I'm not even gonna bother to denote it. Uh, oh shit, that's Bateman. Yeah, I took him out. Bateman then wine. Here's Brand now. Kuzman, one out away from the complete game win. He gets the sign from Grody, who is in baseball heaven and knocked in the winning run today. Here's the pitch to Brandt. 111, left-handed, that's a grounder to first. Clendenin takes it to the bag himself and the ball game is over. Final is New York Mets five. Montreal Peskies, two. A comeback win for the Mets. Kuzman with the win, his 14th. He went all the way. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven hits. He walked one batter. Struck out two, allowed two. Seven two thirds, Raymond came in. Where the hell did Raymond, here's where Raymond came in. He allowed the double to Garrett, which just made it even worse. The final line, Mets five runs, nine hits, no errors. Expos two runs, seven hits, two errors. 
And, you know, you could call Kuzman star of the game, but uh, let's also acknowledge the huge one-out double by Jerry Grody. Check out my landing page for forthcoming programs. I'm not sure I can't commit right now. It was a nice win for the Mets, yeah. No doubt about it, Kathy. Uh, I wanna say to everybody, stay strong, stay well. Be careful of what you look at out in the sky. Protect those eyes. Do not look at the sun. If you have protective gear, that's another story. Uh, and I'll catch you all next time. Thank you.